Brachial plexus injury is one of the devastating injuries that anybody could suffer. The brachial plexus is a group of nerves that come off from the spinal cord and during this injury it just gets ripped off from the spinal cord and it leaves a scar in the spinal cord which generates pain which goes to the brain. So the patients describe this as being one of the worst pains that they have ever anybody could suffer which is like stabbing a knife in their arm or it causes a severe burning of the entire limb or there's an electric shock that's going through the limb. Past 14 years, I have only faced many things. 14 years, I struggled a lot for every single minute, every microsecond. I struggled a lot. I na pandradan teray me for every single moment. I used to get angry, como. I didu patham puri gire dilay. I na panavan teray. I nikhe or mental life question mark item chena. I idu wal kebrida lead pandradin da valila. Chalti. I engan road le puni rusalo kora. I in mind all of road cross pan mat kora in puri lamdamas valila in chen. Ko wal pan muri la. I can't sleep, 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 i can not sleep 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 i I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do. 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 After the they come to me saying that they want the limbs chopped off. Um, they want the hand completely removed. But that's not going to improve their pain because the pain is generated in the spinal cord. Some of them are confined to their house for years. Some patients I remember for 5 to 10 years who have not left their house because of the severity of pain because they are not able to do or focus on anything. The treatment for brachial plexus injury is either medical or surgical. Usually the pain settles down within 3 to 6 months after injury with pain medication. If after maximum medical treatment, if they still suffer from pain, then surgery is a good option. The surgery is a long 8 hour tedious operation where we identify the nerves in the spinal cord which have been pulled out and we try to destroy them. During the surgery, we actually map the spinal cord and identify the various parts of the spinal cord to avoid things getting worse by using an intraoperative neuromonitoring. The operation is very safe and in my own experience of dying more than 40 cases, we've had excellent results of more than 70 to 100 percent pain relief. This is probably one of the most satisfying operations that I do in my profession because patients are completely relieved of their devastating pain and the family and the patient are so happy after having had the surgery done. <laughs> I am very much free. I can go to work. My mind is totally free. How much happy I am feeling is that I am totally free from pain. Even the hospital has become a temple and even the Dr. Balamunim is a god for me. I really thank God for having given me the skill to be able to relieve somebody's suffering. Another common group of people who develop brachial plexus injuries are newborns and people who, and children who are born after uh, during birth where the neck is stretched thereby causing injury to the brachial plexus and therefore these children can be born with uh, sometimes minimal weakness to as i said before very very threatening or frightening paralysis of one hand alone effective treatment involves treatment right from the birth a specialist who has got knowledge in brachial plexus injury has to see this patients during birth 
and uh, staged uh, stage treatment including physiotherapy, electrical stimulation and also surgery at the right time will rehabilitate them to normal children. Uh, it's, there's a common myth that these things can be done later after the child is uh, a year and a half or older. Please remember that the best time to treat is at the time of birth and I would advise everybody to make sure that these children are seen by an expert who is uh, who does brachial plexus treatment and uh, these children are given the treatment right from the beginning at birth. The same procedure can also be done for patients suffering from severe spinal cord injury pain which is again very very common in our country. We can also do this operation for cancer pain, for herpes zoster pain and few other pain conditions. I kindly request those patients who suffer from brachial plexus injury to visit the bpisupportgroup.com website which is a patient-run group which was initiated by us and it is run by patients and it gives you an idea and information about where people do spine surgery, where brachial plexus surgery is done and what are the results and what are the outcomes. I also request doctors who perform this operation to register and make yourself visible on the website so that people can approach you for such surgeries. Thank you.